Hello, and welcome to Cambridge One, your new home for digital learning. With Cambridge One, administrators can create classes on behalf of teachers, sign students up, and activate products for them. This helps streamline the processes by putting the responsibility in the hands of trained individuals in your program who can be designated as administrators. In this video, we'll go over these three processes. Let's start with creating classes in Cambridge One. Cambridge One allows admins to create classes for teachers. To do this, go to the Classes tab on the Administrator Dashboard and click the Add Classes button. This will take you to a new screen where you can create multiple classes and add teachers along with learning materials. You also have the option to upload classes using a CSV file. Simply click the Upload File button at the top right of the page and follow the steps in the pop-up box. Once you've created your classes, you'll see a class key next to each class on your dashboard. You'll need this when enrolling students. Now that you've set up your classes, let's move on to creating accounts for students and enrolling them into the classes. Every student using Cambridge One will need to have their own account. Students can create one on their own, or administrators can create it for them. In fact, administrators can create accounts for up to 200 students at a time. This process is called bulk enrolling and is a popular option for programs who want to simplify the enrollment process for their students. Bulk enrolling students is easy. Cambridge One offers two types of accounts, adult or children. If you bulk enroll students under adult accounts, they will be invited to a class by email. They will need to sign up and log in with their email address or social media account. Students will also be responsible for resetting or restoring their password themselves. The other option is to enroll students using the children account. This is typically used with our K-12 through learners, but don't worry, it works with adult students too. The only difference is that the administrator will manage the student's accounts if you use this option. For example, students won't be able to reset their own password, so you'll need to reset it for them. They also won't receive notification of downtime for maintenance. You'll also need to share their username and password with them after you finish bulk enrolling them. Now, let's go over how bulk enrolling works. To get started, click on the Students tab on your dashboard and open the Manage Students menu. Choose Add New Students to Classes and on the next page, choose the type of account you want to use. Follow the instructions on the page. One very important thing to remember if you chose the children option, you'll need to share the usernames and passwords with students manually after you've finished bulk enrolling the students. If you have students who already have an account and have previously taken a class with your school on Cambridge One, then follow these steps to add existing students to new classes. Click on the Students tab on your dashboard and open the Manage Students menu. Choose Add Existing Students to Classes and on the next page, choose the type of account you want to use. Follow the instructions on the page. Once the students are enrolled, you can batch activate the codes for students to access the learning material or distribute the codes for students to activate themselves. As mentioned earlier, if a student loses their password, you'll be able to help them regain access to their account. Click on the Students tab on your dashboard and find the student who needs help. Click on the three dots on the right and choose Change Password.
If a student is no longer in a class, you can remove them by going to Class Data to choose the class the student is in, find and check the boxes next to the name of the student you want to remove. You can choose multiple names at a time, and click Remove at the bottom of the screen to confirm. You've now set up classes and enrolled your students in Cambridge One. The next step is to activate codes. Again, this can be done by admins or by students. If you choose to activate materials for students, click on Manage Students on the Students tab of your dashboard and choose Activate Course Materials. Click on the question mark next to how to use this form and follow the instructions. You'll have the option to manually enter the information one by one or use a CSV spreadsheet. You can activate codes for up to 200 students at a time. If you choose to have students activate the learning material themselves, they will need the access code printed on the inside front cover of their student's book or given out by the school or their teachers. Besides adding students to classes, you can also add teachers using one of two ways. One, enter the teacher's email address when creating new classes. You can have multiple teachers assigned to one class. Two, add teachers to an existing class at any time. Find the class on your dashboard and click on it. Scroll down to the Teachers section and click the Add button next to the heading. Type the email address of the teacher you wish to invite. Each teacher you invite will receive an email and appear on the pending list on the class dashboard. Here's a tip when adding teachers. Before inviting teachers to classes, we recommend asking your school network administrator to add no reply at cambridgeone.org to the school's whitelist or safe sender list, which will help ensure that the email invitations reach their inboxes without going into their junk or spam folders. We hope you found this walkthrough of Cambridge One for Administrators, useful.